Happy Friday, everybody. Updating uh, the forecast here with the uh, potential for some severe weather tonight across parts of the state, uh, mainly eastern North Dakota into central and northern Minnesota, with the Twin Cities kind of just on the edge or just south of that slight risk from the Storm Prediction Center. Uh, there is going to be some storms popping later in the evening hours uh, across northwestern Minnesota, likely, and moving uh, south and southeast, depending upon how much wind they produce, those storms could dive straight south and affect the metro, or they could make more of a southeast traje trajectory and move into uh, central Minnesota, northwestern Wisconsin. Otherwise, uh, late this morning, midday here, we've got just a few leftover showers to the west that largely will fizzle out. But uh, if, if any of that holds together, we could have a few mid-afternoon sprinkles here between 2 or 4 p.m., but most of it is fizzling out. This is leftover activity from the overnight and early morning hours that did affect uh, many areas off to the west and of course we did have a few spotty thunder showers move through uh, the metro areas as well but this is the setup we've got uh, low pressure here across western north dakota ahead of it much more humid air and uh, that's basically where you're seeing all the clouds and some of these broken lines of showers and storms that extend all the way into Missouri and Arkansas and then into North Dakota and we've got a spin here across uh, eastern north dakota it's actually uh pretty uh, defined upper level spin, upper level disturbance. We call this an area of vorticity, basically a spin in the uh, upper middle and upper atmosphere, a uh, little pool of cool air aloft, and that is the focal point for where storms will be developing later ahead of that L. It's not low pressure, but low heights. We're talking about the middle of the atmosphere, but that's gonna be the focus uh, as we head into the late evening and overnight hours. All the dark red on here shows what we call downdraft cape, which means uh, uh, con convective avail available potential energy for storms that could produce high wind. So this is a, a night where we're looking at the potential for wi high wind gusts and some large hail. So going through the rest of the day, again, showers off to the west, largely fizzle out, maybe a sprinkle, but uh, we're going to be watching to uh, eastern North Dakota, northwestern Minnesota here. This is 5 o'clock. Some storms starting to pop around the Fargo areas, and then those will continue to develop and fill in. Here's 6 o'clock, and then moving east, uh, now we're at 8 p.m., maybe around Brainerd, Bemidji areas, and then bowing out uh, and making their way uh, east here into uh, northwestern Wisconsin and eastern uh, northeastern Minnesota. So this particular model keeps that line of storms and those winds just north of the Twin Cities, but even as close as Cambridge, Mora, you guys could see some of those storms. And again, the potential is for some of those high wind gusts here. We'll put those on uh, the model here and, and pay attention specifically to the oranges and reds. Those are the severe wind gusts of 60 miles an hour or more. So right away, those storms could start producing some of those high wind gusts and tracking east right across cabin country here by about uh, between 8 and midnight tonight. And then they'll continue to push east. So again, it looks like most of that activity stays north of the metro. A couple of the models do push it further south. So with these bow echoes, these uh, storms that produce those straight line winds, uh, they can push the whole movement of the storm straight south, or they can continue on an east-southeast trajectory. So we're going to watch the evening hours to see how those storms progress to see if it will affect the metro at all. But uh, there is also the potential for some large hail. Uh, we'll put on what the uh, estimates of hail are to the west at the moment, but uh, two to three inch hail uh, estimates by some of the parameters we use for that. Otherwise, it's gonna be a steamy weekend. We're talking about uh, temperatures well into the 80s, very humid, dew points are gonna be near 70 tomorrow and Sunday. And if we do see those storms move south, we could have a little early morning thunder, some partial clearing. And then it looks like Sunday night could be a repeat of overnight storm activity with dropping humidity finally uh, through the day Monday. And then it looks pretty nice here most of next week.